Do you remember the day that you landed in L.A. or drove through LA? Yes. Uh, it was an interesting flight because I missed it and I had a delayed, ah, oh, it was a long, and I only had, what, three bags with me. I had sold my car, like, days prior, so I was just on public transit system just to make it out here. And then uh, I got a late flight, finally, came here real late, and the guy that picked me up was, a, you know, my friend, uh, my roommate, he picked me up, and he was like, he came there the day before, because he thought my flight was supposed to be there, so that was interesting. And my experience in L.A., that first day was it's pretty interesting because we got I almost got into a fight at the diner so it was yeah my first experience here was pretty rough over what no uh, I wasn't used to how um, certain cultures were out here and uh, back home if you get stared at by somebody for more than seven seconds you ask questions like hey do we know each other and the person didn't I guess rec I don't, he was you know I guess he was Armenian and he just looked at me he started smoking a cigarette and we almost got in a fight the first day here. So I was like, yeah, L.A.'s pretty rough so far. But, it, you know, it turned out pretty well. So now, how do you deal with it when people... Like, kind of do the stare same ...stare you down for whatever reason? Look the other way. Don't care. Don't have to dwell on it. Just keep it moving. So when you came out here seven years ago... Yeah. ...to now, are your impressions of L.A. better, worse, the same? Uh, you come here, you know, with, with glass bottles. You're here, you see the glitz, the glamour, and you start to learn that it's, it's a tough town. You have to deal with rejection almost all the time. Uh, the people here are friendly, but, you know, it's kind of... You just have to learn how to play the game. That's the one thing I learned. It's, it's, it's not... It's, it's, it's a tough town. What's the game? Oh, man. Learning to try to push yourself ahead when everybody else is trying to do the same thing, either with evil intention or good intention. It's just trying to keep a team or a foundation of people around you that has a good soul and trying to succeed at the same time. So I guess that's pretty much how the game is. It's... That's my opinion. Uh, that's what I think it is. And what do you use for your gut check when you can tell maybe someone's intentions aren't good? Well, thankfully, I have like a, one of those radars where you kind of like, ah, okay, you're 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 not trying to help me out, or we're not trying to on the same level. You're here for something totally different. Thankfully, I've been there. But then again, there's some people who are very good actors that are on the outside trying to make stuff happen, and you see, I say, okay, you're just here to try to take money out of me or something. But it's yeah, it's a tough town, man. Tough town. What got you into acting? Was it before you came out here? You decided? Oh, no. Uh, when I was younger, I was forced into plays when I was around four or five years old. My uncle, he's an author, so he would write, you know, playwrights. But they would be in French, so it was tough for me because growing up out here, French is like, you know, a second language in my family. So he forced us to do that, so it got me into the plays and... Uh, then I started doing like short films here and there back home. Then I stopped for a while because I got into, you know, uh, sports and stuff. And, uh, you know, my friends weren't into acting and that's so you're going to do what your friends do. Then when I went to college, I started going back into theater again and uh, falling in love with it again. And I had, as soon as I left college, I had to come out here. So once you came out here seven years ago, what were some of the first steps that you did to uh, get yourself into acting? Well, the first steps you do you're told to do is get your headshots, try to meet a manager or some source to help you out, go to central casting. And central casting helps you a lot because it shows you the ins and outs of just like TV and film and you see, oh, okay, this is what they do? Oh, everybody says the same thing, I could do that. But just to get to that certain level is the way you gotta learn, it's, you know, you come. Yeah, central casting. That was that was that was the best learning experience. And then you know you jump into as many as classes as you can, like from Meisner to whatever technique hurt you know helps you. A lot of people do the um, improv, UCB or the Groundlings. But yeah, I try to take as much as I can from every school I learn. That's basically it. 